My name is Paul Wager. I'm clinical director at Salvation Army Bell Shelter. And my main responsibility is to make sure all our clients um, are having their mental health needs met and that our treatment is really therapeutically oriented. I was in the military from 1979 to 1991. Military, the history is pretty good. It was pretty good. I got 13 years in there. I joined the Navy when I was 19. I feel that um, a lot of people don't really understand what some of the military people have gone through. I have a history of depression and anxiety. I have PTSD. I'm going to bed at 12. And then I'm up at 1.30. What I, what I suffer from is panic attacks associated with uh, PTSD. I have 28 years. Uh, I'm just, you know, this is my last hope. Boy, it goes back to, I think, around 2007. Um, I got introduced to uh, someone who was with the EEG uh, Institute and they told me about some of the success they were having working with veterans, um, specifically um, Iraq and Iraq veterans at that point, some of the guys that were coming back with PTSD. And I saw some of the results and was just really intrigued by the symptom reduction that, that happened really so rapidly because, you know, uh, PTSD is, is very difficult to treat with conventional talk therapy. Um, medications can help, but they more manage the symptoms. They don't really heal the brain and the nervous system. And when I saw some of the results rolling in uh, from the uh, veterans that were treated with neurofeedback, I was just really, really impressed. I feel incredibly blessed to be here in the program. And uh, for me, it's, uh, I based it on interviews with veterans from the Vietnam War. And uh, particularly one veteran I spoke with, uh, his job in Vietnam War was body bagging. And he had multiple suicide attempts in his life. And he told me this is the only thing that's ever helped him. And, he's, and he hasn't had a panic attack since he's begun the uh, program. I personally think the biggest benefit for them is sleep. I think with the shelter environment here, having so many people sleep in one room, that anything we can do to help calm them, to help get them a more peaceful night's sleep helps with everything else. I've noticed where I'm not waking up after an hour or waking up after two hours. You know, I go to bed at 12.30, 1 o'clock because I'm a late type person but I'm sleeping straight through the 4.30 or 5. I think one of the things that really impresses me is the, the fact that it can help with addictions so much. Um, several of the veterans have told me that there were opportunities either where uh, people offered them their drug of choice and they were able to say no, or that they were in a very stressful situation which would normally lead them to use and because of the neurofeedback, or at least they attributed to the neurofeedback, they didn't use. The things that used to cause me to think about drugs and alcohol, you know, are not, you know, weighing heavy on my mind, so uh, I don't need to think about drugs and alcohol, uh, you know, to deal with those things. For me, I've been more relaxed, and I mean, I'm already able to um, like stay up all day. I'm alert. It relieves the stress and strain. And anything that can release that, I'm all for. We're very hopeful and excited for the future that we're going to be able to have a sustainable neurofeedback program here at Bell Shelter. Um, and being be able to serve not only Vietnam era veterans uh, who are a part of our population, but also the Iraq and Afghanistan veterans that are coming back and will be for the next probably four or five years. Uh, I'm a vet, so I know I, I, I know combat veterans, and I know you know the issues that they have, and uh, a lot of uh, veterans have told me that they have 
uh, racing thoughts. They have, uh, they're anxious. We can't afford to lose people that could be helped. And, and, and if it wasn't for some caring people in my life, then I, w I wouldn't know what to do right now. And I was lucky to be entered into this program. I feel blessed beyond belief. What I would really like to see is that it sustain itself here, that it be a long-term um, treatment that people can use because I really know that it can make a big difference. I would like to see us have a, eventually a full-time neurofeedback coordinator here on site and four to six neurofeedback technicians working, you know, uh, you know, 40 hours a week. Um, and ha I'd like to see a very robust neurofeedback program here. We were, we were able to serve every veteran that wanted to be served.